Good morning, everybody. I tell you what, I have some work day ahead of me. Is it morning? What time is it? I kind of slept in. Yeah, it's actually noon time right now. I've been up for an hour or so. It's Saturday, I get to sleep in. But now, I got one heck of a work day. I have to lightly clean out the truck, then I have to zip down the Home Depot, pick up some lumber because I'm building shelves in my office, and then I'm also taking trash to the trash place. I'm picking up hay, I'm picking up feed. What else am I doing? Uh, oh, I still have actual work work stuff to do later this evening as well. So there's lots of stuff going on. Truck is unhitched, so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go now. Uh, let's go. Operation take out the trash is complete. Next up is Operation get horse feed and other horse stuff at the horse place. Hey horses! Operation Seminole feed is done. I got some feed and hay and supplements, but we have to make an emergency operation to get car fixed because a belt just went out on the truck. I don't know which one. I think it's the one that maybe does the alternator or whatever because the truck just had a problem trying to get started. So, off to the auto store, yay! So I was gonna go to Home Depot, but there was taking forever. I was sitting there through like three stop signals and there was still probably another three to go because there was a long line. And so I was like, you know what? There's a Lowe's right here on the right. Why don't I just turn right? So I turned right and I'm going to Lowe's instead. I wonder how many people go to Lowe's because it's easier to turn right than it is left at that intersection. I don't know. All right, we got some lumber cut and ready to be put together, which means it's time to go home. But first, I'm gonna stop at Arby's because you know what? I want to, I want to beef and cheddar. And I'm allowed to do that sometimes. I'm getting beef and cheddar for lunch. Because it's 3 o'clock and that's when I eat lunch. And I'm going to also stop at the post office because I'm told people have sent some stuff. So we're going to go see if anything's there. Which will be exciting when Amanda gets home because we'll get to do a little opening thing. Or maybe we'll wait till tomorrow to do an opening thing. Unless some of you mailed bacon. Which one is kind of weird in hindsight. You probably shouldn't mail bacon. Uh, but two, bacon. Oh, don't, don't mail bacon. That, that would be weird. And it'd probably go bad. Alright. Arby's. Yes, can I please get a beef and cheddar classic number eight with curly fries. Okay. And a sweet tea. So if you want that small, medium, or large? Medium. Okay, and will that be all? That'll be it. Alright, I have a beef and cheddar medium meal with a sweet tea. That'll be 716, please. Excellent. It is hot. I had to turn the AC on. Because you know the whole truck and the AC thing. Anyway, so I got my lumber. This is gonna be one, these are the shelves that go across. So I'm having to go across the entire office. That's a long shelf. Floor plates, and then I have my risers on the floor over there. Those are my 13 inch studs or, or side things, you'll see. But uh, step one, is I gotta clean this office up and pull the desk out about two feet so I can actually get the slumber in there and work in it. So, uh, clean the office. Yay, look at that. I have shelves now in my tiny little office. That is super exciting because now I can organize all of this and get rid of, you know, these bookshelves and give myself an extra foot of space here. I am so excited about these shelves. I did forget to uh, get stained for them, so I'll have to do that later. But uh, all I gotta do is pull the desk out about a foot and stain them and that'll be that. I'm excited. Woohoo! Thank you, Dad, for uh, giving me the instructions for, you know, how to build these. Nice. I am really happy with how this came out. Look at I did shelves. I made something in the real world. <laughs> so. With the shelves built, it's time for a break. Now, we were gonna go tomorrow to Orlando and try the big Kahuna house, Kahuna bowls, whatever it's called. But instead, we got a craving for Indian. So I'm chauffeuring this beautiful lady. That seat is dirty. Yeah, that, that seat's got a bunch of stuff on it so she can sit on it. But yeah, we're gonna go have some Indian food. Also, Matthew's my slave. 
Am I right? Am I right? Uh, Am I right? And you're with my slave. Am I right? Yeah. The Indian food. Am I right? I'm gonna eat it in my belly. Yeah. So, taking a break from putting the shelves and cleaning up to go get some Indian food. But now that begs the question, what are we gonna do for date day? I'd ask you guys what you think we should do for date day, but you'll be watching this on date day, so that's not very helpful. They would tell you to ride with me. You want to ride? It's not a bad idea. Let's discuss. So Amanda got a peanut butter milkshake, but she hates the smell of peanut butter, but she loves peanut butter milkshakes, even though her peanut butter milkshake smells like peanut butter. But I don't like peanut butter. I don't like peanut butter. But you like a peanut butter milkshake? Yeah. That's made and tastes like peanut butter. No, it's peanut butter and chocolate. It's like a Reese cup. I like Reese cups. But I don't like peanut butter. It grosses me out. It smells so gross. You know why? One of my college roommates made peanut butter cookies at some point in the year and left the like batter bowl sitting for a while. And when she moved out, I was helping her clean up and I had to wash this bowl and it just smelled like old peanut butter. And so now every time I smell peanut butter, I just like, makes me think of that. It's so gross. Except for your milkshake that smells like peanut butter. It doesn't, it smells like chocolate. It smells like chocolate. 